Hello and welcome everybody to another photo critique. Today is gonna be relatively quick and I've actually got pictures from both Jax as well as Will here. So let's just jump straight away into the first picture from Jax. So we've got kind of a pond at sunset and I do like the overall look, the overall mood of this picture. I do think that the composition is pretty simplistic but it does work. I really like that you have these ferns or whatever they're called on the left because otherwise it would really be too empty and too boring in the foreground but it does make it work. Also the fact that you have the sun in the middle of the frame here I think gives an additional point of interest and it also leads you into the picture in some way. I might even crop that down so you don't have as much sky. I do like the structure in the clouds and everything but it just seems a little bit unbalanced if you have that much sky. Other than that I might just grab an adjustment brush and add a little bit of plus exposure in these dark portions of the clouds just so the overall picture doesn't seem as dark. Even though I do like the dark mood, I don't think these very stormy kind of clouds do work that well here. So by grabbing an adjustment brush, going into the plus shadows, maybe even in the plus exposure, you can kind of make this seem less dark. Also, you could of course play around with the different blue tones in the sky, make some blues on the top a bit darker than lighter, um, but other than that, I really wouldn't know what to do. So overall, I do like the picture, very simplistic, very serene, but it does work. Then here, we've got a blue picture, and honestly, well, for my taste, it's definitely way too blue, but definitely, clearly, you went for that look intentionally, and I do think it is a pretty you know, well worked out blue. It's very saturated and at the same time it's not dark, it's not dull. It does work, it's very luminous, very vibrant and so I do think that if you really like that blue look you did a good job, even though for my taste I would really bring down the blues. So in terms of the overall picture, once again I really think that the foreground element, for example here, really makes the picture work because without that it, you just kind of end up with something like this and I don't think the picture is really bad it's a very abstract darkish kind of picture especially with the very heavy amount of vignetting I do think it works well but an additional foreground element would just make the picture a lot stronger also I would cut down on some of this bright middle spot right here I don't really mind it being bright towards the mill, but I would not make it as much. So overall, I do think it's not a bad picture, but at the same time, it's not really that great. Then the next one right here is actually just a placeholder for the disclaimer thing. And then we've got a cityscape, also kind of mixed with a seascape. And I do not like the colors here at all. Once again, this is just my opinion, of course. Um, you're the artist and you have to decide for yourself which kind of look you like best and what looks best on the picture. But I do not like the color here. It's really way too saturated, especially in the red and especially in the blue tones. It just doesn't look natural whatsoever. However, regardless of the color, I do think that the fact that you have the sun here between the houses really gives a very important element to the picture. Because without it, it would be so boring, so dark, and at least with the sun, it is a little bit more interesting. Also, the reflection of the sun here on the water makes an additional element almost as well. So overall, I think if you would cut down on the colors, make it look more natural overall, it might actually be a decent picture. But once again, there's kind of a foreground element missing to really make this picture great. But not bad at all if you decrease the color. Then here, another cityscape. I actually do like this a lot better than that. It does have very saturated colors and I would suggest you to go down with the saturation a little bit, especially towards the left part right here. But it has a very interesting structure and especially the right, I think the right actually looks good with the different blue tones, with the very soft kind of yellow and uh, all of the clouds with the red tones. I do think it works well, also the reflection. 
And I do like the, that the fact that you have actually made the right part so much brighter than the left part. Although I would increase the exposure on the left so it's not quite as dark. It's almost a bit unnatural once again. But overall, I think this is actually a good picture and it doesn't really require a foreground element because you only have such a little part of water here compared to here. The water is really a lot bigger and therefore really could benefit from a foreground element, but there it does work. And also the panoramic aspect ratio does work here. So I would just make the left part a little bit less dark and I would decrease some of the saturation towards the left and I think you have a really good picture. Then to the next one and hmm, I don't really like this picture. So the first thing that my eye goes to is this overexposed sun behind a tree that definitely looks very bad. And also I think the graduation from this warm part to the blue sky, it just doesn't look natural whatsoever. So try to make the graduation more organic, more fluid. And honestly, on the left, you kind of have it a little bit better than on the right, but still, it doesn't look all that great. Also, I think the saturation is way over the top once again. And in terms of the overall picture now, I do actually like the composition with the tree in the middle, with a very bright part behind the tree and in this kind of panoramic aspect ratio, so you don't have too much of an empty sky or too much of an empty space above or below. However, it's still not that interesting. I think it is actually a good composition, you know? Let's just leave it at that. Not everything has to have tons of elements. But yeah, definitely the overexposed sun is Maybe you could work around that by grabbing a chasm brush, kind of making that darker, but you will never get the detail out of it that you would want. Also, if you would work on decreasing the saturation and also work on the graduation from this warm to the blue part, I think it could be a passable picture, maybe even good in some way, definitely very interesting. But how it is right now, I don't like this picture very much. Then the next one, I mean, this is a really, really bad picture. And honestly, I think you know that. The only thing that is remotely interesting here is the cloud structure. And cloud structure alone in a grainy, low resolution way really doesn't make a picture in itself. Once again, this format is called Dead Honest Critique, so I'm gonna say it how it is. This is a really a terrible picture. Then the next and I think possibly last one, hmm, this is actually interesting. So I think in terms of the composition, you didn't cut off anything interesting, anything that matters. You definitely did cut off the houses on this right, but you did it in a good way. So it doesn't look um, like it is something missing there. And also there's a lot of things going on from these parts of these houses to the forest in the middle to the other parts in the houses. Once again, I think you went way over the top with the saturation. Also, you have a ton of noise reduction here, so everything almost looks like a painting. And overall, in, especially in the background here, you have it kind of overexposed. I think it's a nice picture from afar, but from close up, it really doesn't look like it's up to too much. But that said, I do think there are some elements and it is overall pretty interesting. So then let's see, actually there are some more pictures. And here, I don't think this picture is up to too much at all. Now, it's definitely not as bad as this one by far, but there's really nothing going on. It just seems like a snapshot that you've kind of edited in a way to make it look interesting, but it didn't really work. So don't think there's anything to do to this picture, honestly, even in terms of editing, it's just not worth it. Then here, hmm. Yeah, maybe in black and white, but how it is right now, once again, you have kind of eclipsed sun, you have it, it's not even in focus and it just doesn't work that well. Also, you have a very, very harsh vignette on the top left and top right corner 
and you could definitely make this a lot smoother. So go into black and white, go into the minus clarity, make the graduation of the vignetting a lot smoother, and maybe you could end up with a passable picture, but even then, it's nothing interesting. So I have to say that these, um, your last four pictures are definitely the worst, even the last five here. And honestly, I think this picture, for example, it definitely has potential. This one isn't bad either. And this one, I do think it works, even though it's not that great. And I actually do like this photo right here. So definitely try to make more effort on a single picture, really go somewhere and plan the shoots, find a composition that works instead of just taking a snapshot like this one or of course like this one. So I hope you at least found some of these tips and techniques helpful. Once again, as always, this is a dead honest critique and it's just a single opinion. So just look at it as kind of additional information rather than just something you should do no matter what. Then let's go to the next three pictures, uh, four pictures actually, from Will and this time in Flickr. So let's just go into the first picture right here. It seems to be some kind of seascape, obviously. And let's just go to the first thing. So exposure, I think you went a little bit too much here. It's definitely a little bit too bright in terms of the overall picture but especially the background is way too bright. Now, it might not be clipped on your histogram, but it just, it doesn't have any details in them. And even if you would want to make this part brighter than the rest, you don't have to go as far. It still have a little bit of detail in there, and that way your picture will look a lot better. Also, a thing that I really don't understand is that so many people have cricket horizons in their pictures. And here as well, it's just such an easy thing to fix and will make your pictures look so much better and so much more professional. The exposure time itself, I really do like actually, because you manage to create some movement in these waves and still capture all of that movement, while at the same time not completely freezing the whole sea and adding a ton of texture. So I really like the exposure time and the overall look of the water. Um, I would definitely create some more vignetting on these right parts, for example, and definitely on the bottom here, just so you have a nice differentiation from dark to bright in your picture. Also, your composition, I don't think it's bad, but it could just be a little bit better with not so much from this right uh, stone thing right here and with a bit more actual attention on the foreground element, because it just seems like it's thrown in, it doesn't really play that big of a role, and if you would focus more on that and let less on the right thing right here, I think you would make an even more simplistic, but at the same time a more interesting and better overall picture. Overall, I do like the overall look, just the bright part in the background, way too bright, and also in terms of the composition, you could really make it more simplistic while at the same time add a lot more focus on the foreground element. Then let's go on to the next picture. And once again, the horizon isn't straight. So I understand that these scenes may have a shoreline where it isn't straight by eye, but if you just have it a little bit crooked like this, it just doesn't work and it just would look a lot better if you would have it straight. Other than that, I think this is a very solid picture. So first of all, let's just go from front to back. So you do have a foreground element. It may not be as interesting as even it is right here, but it does work because all of the shapes and the whole waves going into the rocks, it really works together. And also these rocks right here kind of almost give you a leading line into the picture and I do like it. Then the water exposure, once again I think it works just fine, maybe just a little bit longer in my personal taste, but once again you manage to have a very pleasing look on the waves while still capturing some of that action. Then these cliffs look really nice, it's not too much of the picture but also not too little. 
the editing is really well done, very dark shadows, but also some nice highlights. The mountains in the back really do work, especially with these amazing clouds, amazing structure. And I think this is overall a really good picture. The only thing that I would do to it is maybe go into Lightroom, raise the highlight slider in the tonal curve. Also, you could raise the whites overall and then in exchange just grab an adjustment brush and make some parts of the sky where it's already pretty bright a bit darker. And that way I think you could end up with an even more dynamic picture but at the same time not really have anything clipped. But how it is right now I think it's a great picture and you know if you like this kind of mysterious dark gloomy mood and you don't really want it to be super um, dynamic then I think you can very well stick there just really make the horizon straight. Then let's see here. Now this is a really really interesting picture. I absolutely love the color here. It is very saturated and has a ton of different colors from these warm tones and it is overall very subtle and natural looking so I absolutely love that. I also love the exposure time here because you manage to capture some of the splash and it really works all together. Now the foreground element is very strong here because you have these two rocks acting as a leading line into the photo going to the bright part and from there you have the whole mountain range as well as the clouds leading you through the rest of the picture. So once again make the horizon straight but other than that I think it's an absolutely amazing picture. Definitely the f my favorite picture of you so far. Even better than this one. Um, even though of course it's just preference but I think just everything works here and it's really really strong. Then the last picture, uh, well, I don't know, it seems a little bit grainy. I don't really know what you went for here, so let's just keep it on the landscapes. Anyways, this absolutely great picture, this is a really good picture as well, and this one, it's interesting, but I don't think it's really as strong as this or this one. In any case though, definitely make sure that you have your horizon straight. So that was pretty much it. Thank you all very much for watching this critique of two people actually. I hope you found it helpful, Will, as well as Jax. Um, of course, as always, these are just personal opinions and shouldn't be really looked at as that's what you have to do, just as some additional information that you might want to consider. Thank you all very much for watching, have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video.